Principal speaking, Mr. Stewart here. I would like to start off our first announcement by saying happy birthday, Mrs. Carey. If you see Mrs. Carey in the hall today, give her a big hug and smile, a big old happy birthday. That is so sweet. Right. But that is not all for you, Mrs. Carey. Okay. Mr. Johnson has a gift for you. Okay. For oh Mr. Hunt. Thank you. Okay. So whenever you're ready, you can go ahead and open that gift. That is all for you. Okay. Well, thank you. Mm -hmm. Got here. Mm. A letter. Let's go ahead and read that. It says, To my dearest Elizabeth, mm. I am so glad that we get to spend this special day together. Happy birthday, my love. On this day and every day, I hope that you feel loved. That's so sweet. Yeah, he doesn't know how to use his words. Honestly, I mean, I don't, I don't need all this. Like, honestly, I, I appreciate it. Um, and it's very, very sweet, but just tell him thank you. Tell Johnny thank you. He's, he's the best. I am so glad you chose me walk with you through this journey called life. <laughs> you constantly inspire your students every day. You inspire the other faculty members here. But most importantly, you have inspired me for the last three years as your lover. I don't know how this school or even I got so lucky to have you. I remember three years ago, during the first faculty staff meeting when I had first joined the ranks here at this school. And I was so incredibly nervous. As a veteran, you never know what you're going to expect. Everything is viewed as a battlefield. And so when I first came to the school, I figured I was going to have some issues. I figured I was going to have some enemies, so to speak, on the battlefield. There you were, the first face that I met. And I swear, I thought it was a heaven that came straight from. I thought it was an angel straight from heaven. I can't read, sorry. No, it's fine. Sorry. She's put you on the spot here. Oh, that's so sweet. You had the most dazzling smile and your beautiful blue eyes shone in a way that I never thought eyes could shine like. You said hello, and it was like an angelic choir. <laughs> I didn't know if I should feel this way about a coworker, but as I got to know you more and more, I couldn't stop. The truth is, is that you saved my life. The way that you have empathy for your students, for your fellow co-workers, the way that you're so selfless and you will drop everything for someone else to say yes and. I don't know how you do it. I don't know how you never let any of the negativity affect you because you always rise above the challenge. And I have to be honest, my love, I absolutely never expected for myself to find my best friend, my soulmate, and my coworker all in the same person, in the same building. I'm so sweet. And I am so glad. And I have to admit, which you know I hate to do, I was wrong. This place wasn't a battlefield. It was my saving grace. The truth is, is that you know you're in love and you can't fall asleep because reality is better than your dreams. And every single day being your lover is a dream come true. It is everything I have wanted and more. 
Ever since I was a little boy, I hoped that my mommy could finally meet someone like this. And although she's smiling from heaven right now, and you never got to meet her, I know that she would be proud of you, of me, and of the people that we are becoming. I love you so much, my sweet love. Happy birthday. Happy, happy, happy birthday. I can't wait to spend a lifetime more birthdays with you. Wow. That is a genuine <gasps> heartfelt reaction. So sweet. I don't, I don't deserve that. Especially coming from a veteran. He's an English teacher for a reason. You He's know, very good with words. He very is. And, you know, his students are very lucky to have him. And your students are very lucky to have you. And, well, and your students are lucky to have you. Well, maybe you, you, you know, you guys might have your own kids, you know? It's just, <laughs> I, um, I would like to put a ring on it first. Mm, before that's even a, a I, conversation. I believe in manifestation when I see it. Well, yes, I do too. I mean, I... I'm trying to get a manicure soon. I mean, I, mean. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, usually signs are usually right in front of our faces, but yeah. I think I think sometimes we need to look back and you know look at the look at the signs behind us. These flowers are beautiful. Yes, they are. I love these uh, but flowers. You, you know, you're you're missing you're kind of missing the metaphor here. What do you mean? You know, we always look at signs in front of us. I think you know, us as people, we need to take time to take a step back and look at the signs behind us. Well, you never want to be stuck behind in the past. That's not No, the but sometimes in order to move into the future, you have to look at the signs from the past. Cause sometimes there's a sign behind you. There's, there's, there's a sign behind you. <coughs> there. <laughs> Yes? Oh my gosh, yes! yes. 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 yes.